on today's Tech Help for Churches, the noise floor in an audio recording. Hi, and welcome again to Tech Help for Churches. This is the show where every week I help you with using the internet in your church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Over and over again, I hear people ask similar questions and others will come by and subsequently give bad or outdated advice. Now, that's not to say that I know it all. I don't. I just know what I've learned over the years as a result of freelancing, working in television, and now for my own ministry, helping you in the church to use technology more effectively. Just tonight, I saw a question in one of the Facebook groups that I frequent. The author asked, what blue brand microphone should I get? I answered, none. Unless you're in a really, really quiet studio, it will pick up all sorts of background noise. You see, the answer to this comes down to something called noise floor. You might not have known what that is, but let me help you. Noise floor is the background noise in any recording. Ideally, you'd want the noise floor to be as low as possible. This is why live sound engineers try to get people using microphones to place them close close to their mouths. The idea here is simple. In most situations, you'll be recording some background noise. If possible, you want the audio you want to record to be much louder than the audio you don't want to record. You can't have too much of a good thing and get clipping where the recording medium isn't able to capture the full spectrum of the signal, and it sounds like someone is yelling even when they're speaking normally. The greater the distance between the sound floor and the primary subject of the recording, the better. This is why, because... When you increase the volume of the signal, you increase the volume of everything in that signal. So if the person's voice is too low and you need to raise it, a normally acceptable noise floor will be raised as well and could be unacceptable. Let me give you an example. Normally you hear me through a point source audio microphone that I wear. This microphone gets very close to my mouth So by comparison, all the background audio in my studio is lessened. I also use a compressor limiter gate to cut out sounds below a certain level and compress the dynamics in my voice. Now, let's listen to my voice when recorded on my computer behind me. Now I'm not doing any of those things. In fact, the microphone is far from my face and has no other processing. The only thing I'm doing is raising the volume so that it matches my normal recording volume. Harder to listen to, isn't it? Now back to my regular recording. Better, right? All that background noise is the noise floor. This is why I don't recommend condenser microphones to people who record in less than ideal conditions. Like the person who asked about the blue brand microphone, They just pick up too much extra audio. Their noise floor is too high. So when you're picking out a microphone or choosing a recording environment, keep your noise floor in mind. Maybe you uh, choose to record with a microphone closer to the subject. Maybe you use audio recording tools. Maybe you record in a super quiet environment or some combination. It's worth putting thought into. Thanks for listening. Now, I really mean that. There's a lot you can be doing with your time, and I appreciate that you're spending it with me. If you like what I'm doing here, head over to my site, trinitydigitalmedia.com, and take in more of the free church tech training I provide. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Oh yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. It really helps. 
Once you subscribe, click, click the little bell icon to get notifications of upcoming videos and contests too. Thanks a ton.